G'day, welcome to Outdoor Adventures with Keys. Yeah. Today, <laughs> we're fishing for kingfish. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> And welcome to Outdoor Adventures with Case. So uh, we're on our way to the, uh, well, I can't tell you that, but we're just uh, getting the supplies. And uh, I'm going to go in there and get me some munchies, because today is a good day to sleep. It's beautiful. Right now we're just um, going about catching our bait and our liveys and uh, I think what, what's coming for the uh, got us some squid right there. That's a nice squid too. So uh, we're gonna chuck them in the uh, in the livey tank and uh, I tell you what, if those kingies turn up, he's gonna be a beauty of a livey. If they don't turn up. Calamari for dinner, baby. Work your methods, family. today to catch some uh, kingfish and uh, this is probably the most important rig of the day and it's the sabiki rig this is to catch our live bait which will hopefully mean in turn we're going to catch some kingfish so we've got our burly in the water now we're just rigging up some sabikis catch us some live bait and then we're going to chuck them out fish your methods and hopefully soon you're going to see uh, a few of the boys bent over with some uh, some <laughs> fish yeah. screaming some line out of our reel so stay tuned family Cheer. Cheer. Come around here. Yep, just nice and easily turn his head around this way, bro. Yep, and then we're going to just try and walk him straight up here, bro.
That's the one. And that there is a very, very nice kawaii on a sabiki. stick feet out toward him. That's got him interested, brought him in close. He wouldn't hit the stick feet. So we started chumming, which is just cutting up little bits of bait, throwing it in the water. As soon as he ate one of those, cut the bait off, uh, cut the stick bait off, put a hook on, the same bait that he's eating, put a small cube of that on your hook, put it in the water like you just saw, and we've got a kingfish on. A, um, yeah, that'll go legal just, but it's just the beginning of the day. I doesn't realise I'm going to let him go. Uh, we'll put this little fella back and see if we can get some big ones. There we go. Nice little yellow tail kingfish. Beautiful. Mm. So, uh, right now, we've just caught our first um, live beat. Put it on the first drop too, which is always pretty choice. And um, so you're hooking that. Kingfish will hit the bait from the front. So you always want your the barb of your hook coming back this way. So that when the kingy comes, obviously it's going to hit your bait. As soon as it tries to, to, to pull, you're into a kingfish. So always remember, set your hook that way, you're good to go. Marine. Send them home. <laughs> Hopefully for the kingfish at home. And when this starts to scream a little later on, we'll let you know. <laughs> Beautiful boys. Alright, so uh, we've got another nice little honey kahoa here. We've got one out under the balloon which is fishing the surface. Now we're going to go stick one out on a slide baiting rig that we've cast out a little bit um, earlier on. And um, it's important to note if you're using live bait um, to catch kingfish or whatever the case may be, try and keep your hands out of the gills as much as possible. See a lot of people grab under there just to grip the fish. The minute you do that, you're messing with what helps the fish to breathe. Mm. So try and keep your hands out. Look after the fish as much as you can. I'm cradling it in here just so that I look after it. When I stick him out, he's kicking and he's, he's good, and, good and all well. Um, when you're hooking it, again, through there, slide it around, make sure there's no scales around the, the uh, barb of the hook, and she's good to go. Um, these here are the clips that we've had made up, slide baiting clips, very easy to use. Check out some of our other videos and uh, get into some slide baiting. It fishes the top of the water column to the bottom, and it fishes in closer to the reef and out wide. So very very effective way to fish and uh, it means you're covering a lot more distance Ooh, he's keen to get out there covering a lot more distance and uh, fishing a lot more effectively so I'm going to put him out check this out so you go over the top 
slide it around, then over. And now, able to just slide down the line to where you'll see the repeat. The other thing that's um, really good about that method is it means you can aim the livey wherever you want it to go. If there's a nice bit of whitewash, you want to stick a livey next to it. If there's a reef out and amongst a whole bunch of sand, you want your livey to sit next to it, you can aim your sinker there, and then that livey will swim its way out to where you want it to sit. So slow baiting is a really, really effective method of fishing, and if you haven't done it yet, and you want to catch a kingfish, you need to add that to your tackle box, because I'll tell you what, we're fishing the top, we're fishing the bottom, we're fishing in close, we're fishing out wide with a live bait. And that's uh, something pretty, pretty special. So now we've got two methods out, we're fishing two methods already to target one species of fish. We're getting more and more effective family, I've got a stick bait sitting there, we're going to start casting that out. We're fishing for squid as well, for liveys. Uh, we've got our speakies, we're stray lining as well, which is what just caught that car away. And, uh, we're having a heap of fun while we're doing it, so uh, it's all going on. I won't be happy until we've got liveys out on three different methods. The ledger rig is next, but uh, it's saying that we're having a whole lot of fun and the day's only started. So um, one of the boys has spotted a, a smaller kingfish in our burley trail, and what we're doing right now is we're just just ripping up bits of pilchard, chucking it in the water, um, and why we're doing that is to see if we can get them in close to have a look around, have a look around our burley, have a look at what we've got going on out there. We've got liveys out, so the big ones that may come through are catered to. But this little fella, he's he's trying to get a feed, and, that, and the big kawa we've got out, he's not going to touch them. So, already you can see the kawa feeding on our big of uh, pilchard. But as soon as that thingy takes a tube of that bait, we've got one set up on a hook that we can chuck out to him as well. And then uh, hopefully hook him up and have a bit of a strip. So the boys here have never caught a kingfish off the rocks. And this guy here is the perfect candidate. So hopefully we can get him in the feed. I haven't seen him on the uh, the pilchard tubes, but lucky for us, we've got the uh, Southern Baits Bullet Tuna. So uh, I'm going to give that a go and see if we can pull him in. So stay tuned, family. Yep. We've actually done this before. So this is a first for uh, for the crew, but um, I'm going to live bait a squid right now. So. Like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. So uh, we had a car way out there, it's been swimming for a while, no action. Time to change it up just to... that's the first time I've ever had a live bait. Had a squid livey, so um this could be pretty cool. Stay tuned. If this thing goes off, I'm gonna be doing this a heck of a lot more often. Right, so uh, here's method number three, hooked exactly the same as the other ones, and uh, this is our enclosed fishing down the bottom live bait. So, ledger rig, just dropping them down, I'm just going to put them out here, just where it gets a little bit deeper, um, but in close. And that way, uh, things like John Dory, um, if a kingy comes in snooping the rocks, he's here sitting duck ready to get eaten. So now we're fishing three methods here, family. Good to go. Get it, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's 
the rod, but still got the fish on. That's what matters. So you're not letting it run, bro? Or uh, eh? You're not letting it run, eh? Oh, it stopped its first run. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it does, it can still take mine. I'm just trying to hold it and set up. So keep the rod up, eh? It's a, so I can't put that down to the, the rods. Yeah. Oldie but a goodie, eh? Yeah. It's done a few dashes for me. These hooks are sharp, mate. Well, what size uh, hook are you using, bro? Right? Seven bar row mustard uh, uh, hoodlum. Hoodlum. Mm. Hoodlum, eh? Oh, mustard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, yep. baby. There you go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's a uh, nice kingy there. Woo! <laughs> Still just the morning, boys. <laughs> <laughs> just getting started. Just starting. Oh, yeah.